Hey! Hi, folks! Welcome! Oh my goodness, we have a new video monitor from our neighbor. He brought over a bigger video monitor, so no longer should we be going <laughs> to see the laptop screen and your comments. It's pretty so we exciting. can see. Um, Nigel, do you want to show the nice people yeah. something? Okay. It's a cool Camaro. Very cool Camaro with a custom paint job. Nice work. Yes, very good. All right, well, hello, Holland. Hello, Germany. Hello, Poland. Hello, Ireland. Hello, oh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, but it's, I wonder if it's warm in Portland. I wonder what's going on there. Um, so great to see you all. We're going to start right away with uh, the wonderful Blarney Pilgrim. Mm. Nice and steady. If this is your first time joining us here um, during these Saturday sessions, we're aiming for a nice, moderate pace of session standards. We'll try to accommodate some requests from last time around. Maybe we'll have time for a few requests this time around. Um, and uh, play along with the notes that you know. And this is how we all learn. And we're delighted to share these wonderful tunes with you. So some session favorites, starting with the Blarney Pilgrim, right around here. One, two, how does the Blarney Pilgrim go? Right, okay, so that tune, right. So in G major, here we go. One, two, ready. that Roseanne is joining us. Roseanne is a lovely flute player and piper and also learning the fiddle. Um, I bet you're doing this on your fourth instrument, this mm -hmm. uh, more moderate tempo session. But Roseanne is one of the nice people and musicians who helped us start the guided session. This whole concept ran as a live event, just as a chance for folks to meet up and play through common tunes at not so um, brisk a pace, but also maybe um, led by more seasoned musicians so that the pace is consistent and um, yeah so the sound is good so um, yes really great to have this community extended and with the community extending of course we have um, gotten a lot more of a community going on here and people have contributed um, requests favorite tunes like Randy and we will definitely play the Blackthorn stick oh, yeah. for you um, <laughs> Uh, but I know you're saying feel free not to play it, but we might as well play it. It is a lovely tune, and I think it is on the Guided Session playlist. It's going to be great. So more on the yeah. Guided Session playlist after we play another set of okay, tunes. But right. I will write in what we're going to do. We're oh, going to yes. do some polkas. We're going to do Top of Moil, and we're going to do the Owl Palette Polka again. Oh. 
fantastic. Mm-hmm. And I, I see him, Allison from Rhode Island. I, I'm, unless I'm very much mistaken, today should have been the Blackstone River Theater Solstice Festival, um, which is a, a lovely, lovely festival in Rhode Island uh, with, with, uh, that really, really puts the music to the forefront, um, if, you, if you get my meaning. Uh, but anyway, uh, we will, we will uh, hang out here and have a little Solstice Festival on our own. And uh, and the owl pellet, pellet polka, we're doing it again yep. uh, because and we really enjoyed it yeah. last time. And um, I've put up music for it. Um, hi, Jaylin. I have a surprise for you later on, so I hope and you'll I, stay tuned. Speaking of putting music up for people to learn, right? And sorry, top of moil. Um, I told Shannon to write a mixolydian for it. I kind of it's one of these tunes. I don't think it actually has any thirds in it, so it's kind of um, not. In a key. <laughs> yeah, I said just maybe we could say A minor, you know, uh, yeah. or A Dorian. Mm-hmm. Even. But really, yeah, whatever. It's definitely not Dorian. A minor, let's say. You could, but. A Mixolydian. Just A. A. Okay. Dum, da. So the first tune is. Okay. And then we'll go on to. Okay, so if all you get of the second tune, the Owl Pellet Polka that we wrote for Jennifer, if all you get are the first three notes, D, G, D. Somehow that sounded owlish to me. It happens a lot in the tune. You can play that with us. So here we go, top of moil first. One, two, ready.
for Jennifer when she commented on the owl. And maybe something else that will be super fun to comment on today is the new addition to the Heaton Gallery. So you're going to pick it up? Uh, maybe I will to get it a little closer. Okay. Yes. We have a new painting. We got a new painting. Oh, this is a beauty. This is a New York Street scene. Oops, <laughs> sorry. So that is by that is by uh, the the great Vincent Crotty, uh, who lives in Boston. He's from Cork originally, uh, and he um, the pride of Cantor. <laughs> nice. Oh. Yeah, he's a he's a good one. He's a good one. So. Beautiful. Um, and uh, Oh man, how's Michigan doing? How are you guys doing? <laughs> so um, great. Sure, Ray. Farrell Ogaras, Far Fergal Ogaras, or Farrell Ogaras, you got it. Um, because also, uh, last week, Paul had requested it so politely. Um, so without further ado, we'll do some reels. Farrell Ogara, the Hunter's House, somebody had requested mm -hmm. last week, and the Temple House for, I think, for Mara. So Mara, uh, the Temple House for you. I'll write those so down. So D, G, and E minor without any uh, complicating factors <laughs> to, to, to go along. Um, so yeah, hope you guys. Are, yeah, it's very New Yorkish. It's a uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, he, that guy, you're doing okay in Michigan. That is great. That is great. Yeah, you guys have had a tough tough road of it with everything. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, but hey, here we are together yes. for this moment, playing some tunes, and right. happy to have you join us. So we'll aim for not too fast, Matt Not Mad too Heaton. fast. No. Around uh, here. Yeah. I, I didn't have my afternoon coffee, so to try and keep the tempo a little, a little more, uh, you know. <laughs> Just had to look up the beginning. Okay. Okay, so I did um, check this out. Now, Faro Garas, I was thinking, I remember Matt Malloy did it, and he had a great way around it. It's because he did it in G, but like tuned funny. So anyway, we'll do it in D. Mm -hmm. Two, three.
Okay, Maria, I think you're on. We do need to come up with a coronavirus uh, tune. Anybody got any ideas on the direction we could take this? You know, uh, there are a lot of options here. Um, so great that you're tuning in from San Diego. Woo, I wonder if it's warm there. Um, mm -hmm. It's very warm in Boston today. And um, that's great to have new people joining us. And just for those of you who are new, we are trying our best to stick with sort of um, fairly well-known tunes and then peppering them with maybe a couple of new inspirations based on this very virtual session and also based on the requests that we've gotten. And really aiming to keep it at a moderate pace. So glad that for some of you anyway, this is working out and this is just the right pace. Trying to keep it really moderate tempo for the newer players and also for people working on second and third instruments. Um, if this is really above your pay grade uh, speed-wise, once this gets archived, and it takes a couple hours for the chat to show up in the archive, but once it get ar gets archived, you can actually slow the playback speed, 75%, 50%, whatever you need. Um, so we're going to move on and do a couple of hornpipes, one from the guided session playbook, mm -hmm. The Harvest Home, mm -hmm. uh, and one uh, request, the Galway hornpipe. So I'm going to write those down, and then we will talk about them. Very nice, very You nice. want to tell them about the B I, part I, of the Galway hornpipe? Uh, or did you have something else? Oh, I, yeah, sure. I can talk about mm. the B part of the Galway hornpipe. Um, <laughs> so the B part of the Galway hornpipe, um, I'm going to do a little, uh, I've got a little move I'm going to attempt. It sort of goes, the, the, the melody kind of sits on, sits on an F sharp, and it kind of feels like it's getting to a, a B minor. It's sort of, um, but I'm actually going to go, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to do some, what's, uh, what's known in guitar as bad. Back cycling. I'm going to play F sharp seven to B minor and then E seven to A, which makes it sound very kind of jazzy. Um, or and in my head, it does anyway. I, yes. don't, I don't actually play jazz, so jazzy, you know, jazzy, jazzish, jazzic. Like it. Mm -hmm. um, and then for flute players, kind of going on what we just uh, encountered in Fergal Ogaras, uh, in that it goes below the range of the instrument. Uh, the Galway hornpipe. Really don't. Da, 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 da. Goes down to the C sharp, which I don't have on my flute. So I have to just go. I just play the octave above, but I imagine that I'm playing the C sharp below, and I hear that C sharp below. So I hear la da 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 Right? Mm. So along the way, if you want to call out a few um, chords along the way, I maybe will, not in these, but maybe in other yeah, tunes. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll try. It's. It's. I'm. It's. It's actually. It's not so much a dogmatic thing for me as a, a difficult thing for me. <laughs> but I'll. I'll try. I'll. I'll. Nice. I'll do a little. I'll do a little. Okay, so 69 is our target tempo for yeah. the hornpipes. Very right. nice. Dum do 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 one, two. Here we go, Matt Heaton. <laughs>
inspired by Matt's jazzy chord ideas. I did incorporate every once in a while that nice B sharp um, in your chord there, mm -hmm. you know, that your chord implied. That was really a lot of fun. The little mm -hmm. fun seventh there. Yeah. Um, so you can kind of catch that uh, maybe on the fly. Some of you did, and or you can go back. And I tried to keep it simple one time around with no accidentals. And then some more ideas the next time around. Woohoo! Um, so Carrie, I like your idea about the coronavirus tune. Um, maybe centering it not on the uh, awful part of the virus, but mm -hmm. on some of the connective parts of it. The the healthy connections. We could have yeah we could have a, a, a write a tune a tune about Zoom where like uh, uh, you know a few notes drop out every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be humorous. Good. So we're still okay, open to yeah, ideas. Yeah, yeah. But it made me think of a conversation I had with my friend Brian O'Donovan, uh, who have, has a lot of uh, lovely uh, things to share on his Facebook page. If you find him, he did a bunch of. Uh, story and song um, hours with his wife. Um, it's, it's another Cork connection. He's mm -hmm. from Clonakilty. But anyway, uh, we were talking about this and I am very cautious about, you know, meetups. We've talked about this before. If you're going to be going out, you know, if you are going to meet up to play music, you know, we had kind of demoed a flute mask, you know, or a bandana mm -hmm. or something like that and putting something on the end of your flute to catch condensation, maybe even having a plexiglass screen on a mic stand and maybe keeping yourself at least 10 feet away from other people. I am not going to be meeting up with people in person yet. I think even with those measures, it's a bit soon, we don't know yet. But my friend Brian pointed out a very thoughtful um, notion that in fact, um, just as harmful and maybe longer lasting for us is to have any fear of other people um, can also be a really awful thing to instill. So if I go on with this distancing and um, fearful of meeting up, um, and if I become fearful of people who don't wear masks, that becomes its own kind of interesting quandary. So mm. something to ponder. Um, nice. <laughs> nice. So now let's nice bring chat. things back yeah, up right. <laughs> with so some we jigs. jigs. We're going to do some jigs. We're going to do the battering ram. Pat um, had so suggested the battering ram and the mist covered mountain. Mm. Lovely, lovely tune by Junior Crean. And, and then um, I think that's, I think we'll keep it too because that's a three-parter. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the battering ram is in G. It's a three-part tune. Um, uh, nothing, nothing surprising happens, I don't think. And then uh, Miss Covered Mountain is in A minor. Um, so like A minors and Gs and stuff. Um, and, uh, and yeah, we'll talk, talk more about Michigan in a minute. There's a, a disproportionate number of Michigan. But we have a lot of Irish Ireland, people in yeah, Ireland. That's true, too. That's true. And in Germany. But is everyone from the same county, though? That's a... <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, here we go. The in Michigan, now. they're from all over, too. I know, but it's a state. I don't know, whatever. I don't know. Okay. Um, hi, Chile. Nice to see you. Hola. Here we go. Uh, battering ram around oh, yeah. 84 is what yeah, we're trying. Yeah, yeah. And Matt and Shannon someone, are someone trying. Mentioned, someone mentioned, did we speed up a little? Maybe. Maybe. Not going to say I didn't. Yep. So here we go. 84 is the aim. La, da, 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 one, two, here we go. <laughs>
Lovely tune. Carried away there. Yeah. Lovely tune. Mm. Lovely part of the world. That mm -hmm. Claire, that County Claire. Mm. Lots of good musicians have come from there. We play lots and lots of those beautiful tunes. Another Michigan we've. connection. Um, and so while we were playing those tunes, young Nigel was uh, sharing one of. Can I? Yeah, can actually, I, I did. I, I, yeah, it did occur to me, Shannon, that the playing the battering ram was particularly appropriate at this point yes. because. Yes. Now, don't set anything on that because it can kind of bump the yeah. computer and the right. Ethernet cable. No, That's, no, you're good. You're fine. I'm just giving We've you a warning. We've been a new Lego set day. New Lego set. And Exciting. So I believe that now there is going. The plane. Now the plane. Will okay. Be will you bring the plane in once you finish it? Yeah. There you go. Thank I you for sharing I believe that there that. is a sort of prison prison breakout thing going on there. So the battering. Ram seemed like a good. Uh, you know. Why would you think of that prison breakout during these times? Because <laughs> we're playing the battering ram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. So Where we're going to we? carry on. We're going to carry on with some slides. Oh yeah. We had a request last week for slides, so we're going to mm. do the Rathawan or the we're gonna, Rahawan. We're going to slide into your DMs. And the hair in the corn, the old Dennis Murphy, Julia Clifford, famous set. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. The reason I keep talking about Michigan, so I have two connections to Michigan. One is uh, my family has a cottage up in the up up, up north, uh, in near Frankfurt on Crystal Lake. So I grew up uh, going there for the summer. But also, um, the last uh, in-person gig I played was at the Ark uh, with Karen Casey right before... Uh, Your tour you know, was canceled. Yeah, before the rest of the tour got canceled. So, uh, <laughs> got Michigan on the brain. So, But slides are slides. also really uh, yeah. Michigan-ish. Sure. Me. Yeah, because it's slippery. And well, we've can, played yeah. tunes in Michigan in yeah. the summer many times, and slides. So these Woo! are going to be in. Yay! They're going to be in D and in G. The second one, um, the the B part starts on a C chord. Good. And after this, we have a very <laughs> very special surprise. Yeah. That's right. A very a new, new uh, unveiling. A, a, de a debut. Yes, a debut. Um, still. The typewriter has been acknowledged, um, and this beautiful painting, I think it's Waterford, I'm gonna, ch or Wexford, it's either Waterford or Wexford. One of those W ones. Um, beautiful, I will find out for sure for next week. Those do mm. not have tunes to go with them. Mm. And I mean, we have like a, a small uh, uh, um, amount of events mm. in this room, so I think by the end of uh, this run, we'll have a number of tunes <laughs> to commemorate. Okay. <clears throat> so, right. Uh, so fast, that yeah. one and those two. So one, two, three, four.
right, slides. Slides are so great. One, two, three, four. One, two, ding, ding. Kind of like nursery rhymes without words. So fun. Um, and Matt will be covering a wide number of rhythmic styles. So guitar players, uh, bazooki players, backers. Um, ever just consider just the strumming hand? Because that's a fun thing to do. Take the fretting hand out of the equation. Matt will be doing a series. You did a bunch of chord voicing ideas. And in the backer corner now, you're going to be doing rhythmic styles. Also going to be offering some bazooki um, stylings. This is, this is on the YouTube videos, is yes, what she is talking about. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. OK, so now we are going to do our special surprise. Before we do that, um, if you have a reel you'd like this week, mm. we'll try to get to that after this. OK, so this is our offertory part of mm -hmm. the afternoon. Here's where we play something for you. If you are still being paid to work and you can chip in just a little bit, there's a tip, a virtual tip jar link in the show notes. And if you can kick in any amount, we're very grateful. And if you can't, it's really okay. And we're happy to have all of you here. Um, so here is a tune. Um, I was really tickled by this. Jalen, um, you had given a woohoo about the SpaceX um, mission um, a few weeks ago when it, when it launched. Um, right before it launched, mm -hmm. and of course it was a successful launch to the International Space Ooh. Station, um, there was a bit of a misunderstanding of a few people. They thought that you were on the space station. Which would have been cool, but you're still cool. Super but, cool. You know. Super <laughs> cool. Um, but for a few weeks running, it was like, so how's the space station? And I thought it was really great. So uh, we wrote you this tune, Jalen. It's called The Limerick Liftoff. Um, it's a slip jig. And then we're going to go into a tune that I, another tune that I wrote called The First Date to commemorate our first date. You can tell them while I write this in. About the first date? Yes. Uh, well, the, the short version is we used to, we met in Chicago and we, uh, we lived, uh, we went to this, our first date was at a cafe called No Exit. And uh, I didn't realize quite how, how um, presciently named it was because I, uh, you know, after we were there for a little while, we were listening to some music and then I, I went to use the bathroom and then got locked in. To the bathroom and uh, all attempts to open the door failed until finally the uh, the um, uh, the manager of the place came over and said stand back and I cowered in the corner and he kicked the door in uh, and it was not that big a place where you know if you start kicking doors in you're you're gonna notice really so um, I that was how that was my plan it was my plan all along to make a good impression um, so it seems to have worked out because she even wrote a tune about it. But, um. Now the Limerick liftoff is in A major, but mm. I was very mindful of writing this for whistle players and flute players without keys. And so it is very manageable on a keyless instrument. Um, yes, because we have to be gracious. Oops, I wrote D-O, but you know what I mean, D. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Don't, don't. All right, okay. why don't you do a nice little, are you in drop D? I am in drop D. I've been nice. kind of going back and forth to drop D. Nice. Okay. Thank you. 
<laughs> Peter, I love it um, that our first date was kind of like an all of me episode or I mean <laughs> movie scene <laughs> it's kind of like our whole life yeah. um, very good yeah. um, and so many wonderful things here but I'm sorry Julie who is three year old listening ciao Julie uh, likes out on the ocean of course we will play out on the ocean for Julie that is definitely going to happen <laughs> um, lovely and I will parse through those real requests and try to get to all of them next week or the week after. Locked in the bog. But the first ones that I saw, <laughs> Drowsy Maggie from Maria and uh, the Star Monster for Mary. And um, we also had a request for um, the Earl's Chair, Mopper Moo. Um, so let's try those. Drowsy Maggie, the Star of Monster, and the Earl's Chair. I'm going to write down the first couple notes of each so yeah. I just remember. Right, so Earl's Chair, um, this is one of these ones that like, it's it's uh they they inconsiderately when it, whoever whenever it was written weren't really thinking of uh, of guitar players. Uh, you can kind of get away with I, I think of the tune as being in D, but the first chord is not a D. It's either you can play it as a G or you can play it as a B minor. Some people do both. Uh, you can play it convincingly in E minor if you want to, um, but I, I the thing I've sort of settled on my default is probably going is. Um, in, in, So like a G, and a G over B, and then the D uh, okay. is what I like to do. I'm trying to figure out the order, and I don't okay. know. There's no really good well, order. Well, I'm going to keep talking. And Drowsy the, Maggie. And, Drowsy uh, Maggie? That looks that weird. That looks really weird, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> that's, that's, that's horrible. <laughs> In E minor? Um, e minor, yeah. Drowsy? Uh, drowsy? 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 Yeah. Okay. It's like trying to spell whiskey. Um, <laughs> E-Y. Now it looks like it has an E. Yeah, drowsy? No, okay. All well, right. We'll go with it. Yeah, it's going to take a while. And then the B part, uh, well, so Drowsy mm -hmm. Maggie is just straight up E minor. And then the Earl's Chair was talking about. Oh, okay. yeah. And then the other thing about the Earl's Chair is it has that yeah, pita in the B part. Yeah, da, 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 da. And I, I kind of consciously stay away from going A to D every time because I think it's a little heavy handed. So I kind of um, I try to try to mix that up a little bit. So that'll be exciting. Um, what, so what we where are okay, we? Okay, we Star go. Monster. Yeah. Right, is that? That's how I think of it is because of the Matt Malloy. Okay, on the low B flat flute, remember that? Anyway.
funny drowsy Maggie story. Um, many years ago, when uh, we lived in Chicago, I uh, drove with a friend from Chicago to Quebec City, which is a bit of a drive, I'm here to tell you. And we arrived, and we were very, you know, gross and sweaty and had been in the car for whatever, however many hours. And we got out, and we decided to walk around, and oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful city. You're walking around, it's old, old town, Quebec. And, I, and I, heard, I heard some music, and I heard some music, and we went toward the music, and it was, it was Drowsy Maggie. And what was going on? And we, we got there, and, and the, the chieftains were giving a count, an outdoor concert, so I got to see, the, see their encore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to carry on with a set of jigs. Oh, okay. We're going to do the Blackthorn Stick. Yeah, we are. For Randy. And we're going to do Out on the Ocean for little... Um, Julie? Uh, Big um, three-year-old who likes Out on the Ocean. Who yes. Has good taste. Excuse little Julie. Little Julie. Little Julie, I was Little saying. Julie in Italy. Okay. Um, so, Julie, this is for you. Uh, but first, Randy, this is for you. So... We'll do that. And then... Two G jigs. Oops, I'll write them in. Oops, yep. sorry. You want to throw uh, a third in the middle just no. to change up? Okay. Because we're running out of yeah, time. Yeah, we're running out of time. Um, Blackthorn stick in G and out on the ocean in G. Woo. So um, if you haven't seen it already, on my site, which is shannonheatonmusic.com, shannonheatonmusic.com, there's an instruction page. On that instruction page, I have a bunch of links to the guided session, like Common Core playlist, but also this amazing document that one of our friends made of all of the uh, tunes that we have played since the beginning of this virtual session, which is amazing, and, and exactly where to find each of those. Very cool. And then there's another resource of another friend who has put together um, this document that has clips of each tune, just if the you one just tune. Want the one tune. So you can find all of that. It's exhaustive yeah. work and, um, and gracious it. work. And thank you. What a resource and a help for people. And uh, so I've put that all in one place at shannonheatonmusic.com backslash instruction or just go to my website shannonheatonmusic.com and you you'll find it there so um here we go bah <laughs>
Oh, hello, Hervé family, Hervé family in Hungary. <laughs> How lovely. How lovely to spend a bit of our Saturday here in Medford, Massachusetts, with many of you all over the globe. Um, it is just a very sweet thing to get a chance to play these tunes. And really, for me, thinking of people in lots of different places and lots of different time zones, knowing some of these same tunes and knowing the difference between the Rather One and whatever it was that I played, um, Patsy Geary's. I'll sort that out for next time. Um, this is the funny thing of it just being the two of us. Um, you know, we're relying on each other. And if Matt doesn't call me on it, you know, I'm and, and gonna make those I, and mistakes. And I'm never gonna call her on it. So, <laughs> well, you did. You Once have. In a while. You have. Yeah. You have. And in fact, while I was playing, and I was thinking, this is not the right tune. But I just. It was good though. It was stuck a good tune it. though, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, it was. A, maybe it was an even better tune. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> hey, speaking of tunes and good tunes, uh, I wanted What's to put in a plug. The... Tomorrow, okay. tomorrow at um, Tune Supply. There's a big, big, big Tune Supply concert nice. uh, with like. What do they have, like 70 people this time? It's, it's just incredible. lovely. It's just um, lovely. So the tune supply, I believe it starts at 6 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, so a little late for, for some of the gang in Europe. but, um, but It'll it, be archived. It'll be archived. Yeah. And it's a, there's a lot of music. So. so thank you for joining us. Thanks for your wonderful energy. Uh, Kusanum. I'm sorry, I'll have to work on that pronunciation. Kamsahamida. Merci beaucoup. Trugarez. Arigato gozaimas, tuzin tak, jekuyechi, vielen dank, milne grazie, gramahagach, muchos gracias, ef haristo, danku, sheshe, chvalavam, shukran, eskerik asko, ta palat, spasiba, achehe, salamatbo, tarima kashi, diolch, toda, and thank you. And if I did not thank you in your language, please let me know and I will do so next time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for giving us such lovely energy. If you wonder what I'm rifling around here, I've um, oh, oh. I've got a list of requests from last time and this time that I keep adding to. So but there they're, we go. They're written in Shannon's special language that only <laughs> she can read. So we'll finish off with Callan Lan, this wonderful Welsh hymn um, that is sung before rugby matches, and it's just a very sweet one. It's on the guided session playlist um, in G. So here we go. One, two, three, one. <laughs> everyone hope to see you next week or soon be so well take good care of yourselves and of each other thanks guys